Okay, uh, today I have something um, kind of fun for you guys if you're interested. Um, I had a request uh, to go over this book a bit more, uh, and so I thought I'd do it today. Um, it's a book just about Jedi. It's an identification and price guide. It's uh, Joe Keller and David Ross, a Schiffer book for collectors. So if you want to buy it, which I would highly recommend, it is a fantastic book. Um, but it's all about Jedi. And uh, like I said, these are essentially, I mean, there's going to be more to this than anything. But essentially, there's three main companies, uh, McKee, uh, Jeanette, and then Anchor Hawking or Fire King. And so this kind of goes over the products of those three companies, including uh, Delphite or Azurite. Uh, it goes by different names, but those are the two I know. So yeah, it's, it's a great book. Like I said it goes over all the different models and things, and it gives you, I mean, pricing, but this is old now, so the pricing isn't um, really accurate anymore. But still, I thought it'd be kind of fun to kind of show you some of the things, because um, like it, it encompasses a wide variety of products. Um, like I said, kitchenware here, so you see like uh, canisters for flour and sugar, um, more like jars, which I like. And then you have like these ones uh, with lids, which I'll show you a, a different set of things very similar to that later. Um, these more like shakers, which I like. And you can see, I mean, salt boxes, all sorts of stuff. Uh, mixing bowls, uh, which I had a complete set of these at one point. Sold them all, of course. Um, but those are some of my favorites. Uh, just like that, that swirl. You'll see them in white a lot, too. White's pretty popular. And then these ones I like, too. These are called the Swedish Modern Mixing Bowls. And uh, I like that kind of um, shape of that spout. I had a few... Um, uh, Pyrex ones I'm looking for, similar to that, kind of more of a triangle, but I don't have those right now. Um, tulip bowls, or the uh, flyer, uh, flower bowls, they usually have like tulips on them, I've seen. Yeah, I mean, baking pans, to custard cups, to chili bowls, to rolling pins, measuring cups, these are pretty sweet. I'd love to get a set of those, especially in the box. You know, um, and I have, actually, I have uh, one of those, but it's, it's in uh, Pyrex. Or not Pyrex, it's Fire King, but, you know, the milk glass. Similar to Pyrex, it's fantastic, but if I could find one of those, I'd be very happy. Uh, a lot of times you'll see a lot of juicers. These are pretty common, even these ones. I've seen them, like, you see them pretty regularly, especially, like, these, like, sun-kissed ones. Um, very common. And then refrigerator dishes, which I always am a fan of, but... Right here, I'll show you this guy. So you see, this is uh, the Jeanette when it has the same lid that those canisters had from back uh, there. Here, I'll show you real quick. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this guy is that this is the one my mom has. And it's the one I remember from when I was a kid. And so that is the specific thing that set me on this journey. Because that was always one of my favorite things as a kid. And it still is. And... He said, I'd love to have one of my own someday. I keep looking for one in the wild, but really haven't run into one that's reasonably priced. But yeah, I had traced all my Jada and everything back to that one specific piece. So I always thought that was kind of interesting. You know, those one little things you have as a kid that kind of set your path on, uh, on for the future. And so, yeah, so again, you can see like more refrigerator dishes, uh, baking pans, drippings. Um, and then butter dishes. More shakers, spices, stuff. See all sorts of things. And a lot of this has been reproduced too. So if you want to, you can buy a lot of this stuff brand new um, that looks just like the old ones. Now, a lot of it's been imported. So if you care about that, just be careful. Um, a lot of it is, like I said, will be imported. Uh, charm, um, this is kind of interesting too. It's, uh, I have this in the Delphite or Azurite. On uh, the blue, um, I have the the cups and the and the um, saucers and things, and so we got a I got a project coming up with some of that stuff, which I will talk about later. But since it is for Christmas, I'm not allowed to say uh, cream and sugar bowl. I had both of those. Like I said, I used to have a lot of this stuff, and I sold it all when I moved. So you know, I'm starting to kind of get the some of the collection back. Um, I love like some of the divided plates and things, which I showed back there in the pictures. Um, just again, just fun stuff. You can see like here, you know, some more divided plates. I do love a divided plate. 
kind of my weird thing. I'm one of those guys that doesn't like the food to touch. So, you know, if I could sit there and get everything separate, it'd be uh, fantastic for me. There you go. This uh, shows you that you can get like uh, the color rosite. So I rarely run into this. This is pretty, pretty rare from at least as far as I know, because I rarely ever see it. Um, usually jadeite is relatively common. The azurite or delphite less so, and then anything else, like I said, it's pretty, pretty rare for me. Uh, I got some of these uh, agate raised cups. Actually, got it right here. I'll show you this real quick. So as you can see, this cup, I got the saucer too, or the little plate. So yeah, so I have those two pieces. I just like them, I thought they were cute, but. So it is kind of cool, like you can see, like, you know, it's the, you can, you know, get the actual things that they're on the book. So, anyway, um, let's see what else we got here. We got some other uh, plates of designs, um, more dinnerware, more cups, Tom and Jerry, not the cartoon, but the drink. If you're not familiar with that. Oh, the, the leaf and blossom bowls, that's what I said. I uh, did that one in a previous one. Uh, and then they get all sorts of stuff like ashtrays, um, souvenir stuff, um, more ashtrays, you know, get uh, canisters and jars and makeup things and, you know, baking soda, soap dishes, uh, towel racks too. I don't know if that's going to be, yep, here we go. You see, I love these towel racks. Uh, I've been keeping my eye out on some of these. You can find like these ones on eBay, relatively common. This one, not so much. These, I really like because it has the brackets. Those, you can start getting to this kind of stuff, it gets kind of expensive, but yeah. Jade Egg Towel Racks, uh, candy dishes. You see these uh, chickens and things a bit. Um, actually, you see a lot of that stuff in different colors too. And then the other things that are very common are these juicers or mixing bowls. Do run into a lot of those as well. That is pretty sweet. I don't know if that's like a bowl scraper or something, but uh, that's that's pretty awesome. I'd love to get that. It almost looks like something like, you know, a Klingon would use in fighting in like Star Trek. What they call the big ones are like batless, so like a, like that. And then, uh, you know, ice cream makers, ice crushers, lamps. Um, see that again, a lot of lamp bases. Um, something like that would be pretty sweet to have. And then uh, more pitchers, <clears throat> uh, water servers. These are pretty cool because you know you keep them in your fridge, kind of like your, almost like a old school kind of Brita um, thing. So I dig that. And uh, batter bowls, another fantastic item. Love these. I got one again, not in jadeite, <clears throat> but my mom's got a jadeite one. It's pretty sweet. We use it all the time. It's fantastic making pancakes, whatever. Just uh, pretty cool. So yeah, uh, vinegar cruets, uh, vases, uh, shot glasses, tumblers, get the pitcher and glasses. So, there you go, this kind of shows you some of the range and the colors from the um, azurite or delphite. I think this one is called specifically delphite. And then a couple different shades of like jadeite. <clears throat> And yeah, then you get like some uh, some of these uh, uh, ink blotters, um, some other miscellaneous objects. Uh, you get like uh, again like little ties and buttons and a few other things. Uh, cake platters or cake plates. Uh, actually, I guess this is like Martha Stewart. Uh, looks like these are probably some of the new ones. So yeah. Um, also, I just remembered there was this company I saw down in Ohio that is making um, new jadeite, but it's like the retro styles. I can't think of the name. Um, I'll look it up and uh, I'll link it down below if you're interested. But yeah, so that's just a brief overview of the world of jadeite uh, in this book. Uh, like I said, I would, again, highly recommend all these books. I got them on Fiesta, I got them on all sorts of things, but uh, this one's pretty cool. And if you're interested in jadeite, like I said, there's a ton of stuff out there. And, uh, you know, just go to an antique store and just start poking around and you're bound to run into a lot of it. So anyway, um, like I said, this is for Mr. Mauser specifically. Um, but, uh, yeah, as always, like I said, you know, thanks for watching and, uh, 
Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Bye.